Hey everyone, and welcome back to Pokemon White! Alright, last time we caught Thunderous and Landorus and we finished off the Challenger's Cave and we fought Game Freak Morimoto. And in this episode, we are here at Route 5, near Charon. Strange and Strange alone is what matters in this world, so I believed until I met Alder here. But winning in Pokemon Battles isn't all there is to life. Once I learned that lesson, my eyes were open to many different things. We all have our own brand of strange, people and Pokemon both. The strange to make our dreams a reality, the strange to protect what we hold most dear. Why do I, f why do I think this way now? It's thanks to you, Emil, and Bianca, and Alder. If I'll end to see this too, someday. I'm going to take a long, hard look at myself on Victor Road. I'm going to think about what I can do and who I can become. Visit me sometime if you want. We'll have a bell like old time. Yeah, you'll have a bell like old time, so... He's going to be back at Victor Road, so... Let's go ahead and... Uh, fly to Victor Road, shall we? Uh, he's going to be at the end, so... You fl fly to Pokemon League. That's, that is like, that is the best there. Uh, Best location you can fly to. Or best location and best location, but yeah. Uh, before you go uh, you go in here. And here is Sharon, so make sure to have your Pokemon set, have your game saved and all this stuff. Then you can take him on. Em Emil, it's difficult, isn't it? When you confront yourself, you have to notice things about yourself that aren't too flattering. Of course! No one can get away from the themselves. Who are you? Oh, that's Marshall! Marshall? My mentor told me you were here, so I came to see. If you were losing battle and feel surpassed what you've done before, you have bested yourself. Take the opportunity of a battle to look at your opponent, look at the Pokemon involved, and look at yourself! Are the soldiers words? Maybe. But I'm boring with them. What I want are battles with trainers to believe in themselves like that. When I mix it up with a trainer like that, both my Pokemon and I get even stronger. Well then? I'm waiting for your challenge in the Pokemon League. I guess that's that. Okay, Emil, accept this Pokemon battle! Sure, I accept it. This is the final battle with Charon, all right then. Let's get on with it! Let's get on with it! Charon is going to lead off with a Lipard. And all of his Pokemon are in the mid-60s, so that's just something to keep in mind. This Lipard will actually, will actually uh, have a hold item. Focus that, so it will actually be able to uh, live your hits. Uh. So let's go for a surf on. Now let's not go for a Mega Horn because because it having a focus sash, you will not be able to uh, take it out in one hit. But if you have a Pokemon with Thief or something, you can steal that focus sash so you can have it all by yourself. Or it does not have focus sash. Jeez, it has a Citrus spare. Why do you think that have focus sash? I think I read it somewhere. I think all my strengths and weaknesses now soon. No all I don't know, but I read somewhere that one of our poke one of his Pokemon would have focus sash, but apparently that was wrong on me. Apparently I was wrong. But Surf is going to be able to take a life hurt, so yeah. I'm wrong. Those things happen. Uh, believe it or not. Superior! Okay, that's his uh, grass type starter. And uh, if you started with uh, Snivy, you will have the uh, the full evolved uh, Fire type starter. How can I forget what it's called? And if you started, if you started with uh, Tepig Embor, that's what it's called. If you started with Tepig, he will have Samurott. So we'll have all of these uh, very powerful Pokemon. Let's go for a Bug Bus. He's going to go for a Coil, which I believe is a setup move. Yes, it is. Thrace's attack. De defense and accuracy, so try to hit it on the special side if you can with like fire type moves or something. But Bug Bus does a lot of damage to the superior, so one Bug Bus is going to be able to take take it out. He goes for a Leaf Blade with a Rosy Resist, so it doesn't even do half, so that's, that's really nice. So Bug Bus is going to be able to take out the superior. So that's pretty goddamn awesome, I must say, and Rosy Group on 64. Awesome. Next up is his Gigalith, a new addition to his team, so let's go into Olivia. A Gigalith has the ability to start it, so that's kind of annoying, so you won't be able to uh, one-hit kill this thing uh, no matter what. 
So just try to hit it uh, really hard with like uh, maybe a special move since uh, Giga Lift has more uh, physical defense than special defense. That's just something to uh, keep in mind. And Surf is going to hit it down to its uh, sturdy ability. And it's probably going to hit me with. Yeah! It missed! It freaking missed! Awesome! Uh, let's see. Oh, it has a leftover? Okay. If. Okay, then if you if you have Thief, you can steal its uh, leftover, which is really good. It's a really good hold item, probably one of the best hold items in the game. At least in competitive play. It will restore 1 16th of your health every turn, so. It's a really nice item. Uh, let's see, next up is Haxorus, which is a very powerful Pokemon, so let's bring in another powerful Pokemon, let's bring in Croc. Since uh, Croc packs a punch with the, with the Outrage. And Haxorus is pure ground type. Ground type? I mean dragon type, jeez, why did I say pure ground type? Let's go for the Outrage, and he's also going to go for the Outrage. And dra he has a dragon gem, so that Outrage... It's going to do a hell of an amount of damage to Croc. Oh! 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 What now, Charon? What now? What now? Oh god damn it. <laughs> I live with all 1 HP from that outrage. That was awesome. But unfortunately enough, uh, Croc uh, goes down to uh, the uh, second outrage. So let's just bring in the fast Pokemon I have here. Petri, let's just go for the Earthquake, he's locked into Outrage, so he can't do anything else. So the Earthquake is able to take out the Hexorus, so that's pretty nice. And Petri is going to grow to level 64. Awesome. Uh, next up is Simipore, which is the uh, Water-type monkey. She will have either the Grass-type monkey, the Fire-type monkey, or the Water-type monkey, depending that it's uh, strong against uh, your starter. So let's just bring in Rosie, and I completely forgot to... Uh, Give uh, Rosie back at uh, Thunder, so I just have to settle with this charge, but uh, that's not too much of a loss. Oh, Rock Slide! I didn't even know that Simipore could learn Rock Slide, but thankfully, it missed Rock Slide. And this charge is a one hit KO! God, I didn't even need Thunder. Jeez, you're very powerful, Rosie. Unpheasant, I'm just going to stay in with Rosie. This Unpheasant is not going to do too much. It's not over yet! My Pokemon are with me! This is his last Pokemon! Wow! Apparently it was not too hard, too uh, tough for me, it's just this Hexorus that gave me a little bit of trouble. But Unpheasant goes down to one uh, discharge, so that was Sharon. Thank you. That was missing on me, in me. You, you were? I'll keep battling with many trainers at Pokemon like this, and if I can learn what kind of person will open up my path. I'm sure this path will lead me to become the person I'm meant to be. Pokemon will always be with, with you and me as we can do, go down our paths, our important friends, Pokemon. And now, let's go ahead and head back to Novemba Town! Yeah, let's go ahead and head back to Novemba Town, because, uh, yeah. Let's go ahead and fly there, fly there, because Bianca is going to be there waiting for us. But something I just want to mention is, uh, for you to fight Bianca, you have to, you have to do the final battle, or uh, go through the Elite Four a second time, and you have to become the champion. I did that off screen with a Pokemon uh, that I uh, that I cheated to get just so I could get through the Elite Four. So I because I d honestly I don't want to have the final have the final battle with Bianca. I really want to have it with a champion. Yeah, they should rest a little. Thank you very much, Mom, for healing up my Pokemon. So. When you become the champion, and when you all heal up, uh, Bianca is going to be here in Novemba Town. With uh, Professor Juniper and a freaking Patrat! Professor Juniper is letting me help out. When I was looking at my Pokédex, I realized something. I met so many Pokémon during my journey. I just want to learn more and more and more about the little darlings. Oh yeah, that's right. Emil, do you know about messy outbreaks of Pokémon? Yes, I know. I knew you know. You yes, know that lots of our certain Pokémon appear in the grass all over, and if Look at the electric signs in the root. In the root. Yeah, you, you can look at those uh, electric ball bins and you can see what out, what root there's outbreaks of different Pokemon. Every now and then, come a Pokemon with me, okay? Because by doing that, I'll learn a lot more about Pokemon. So, on the weekends, on the weekends, uh, you're going to be able to to uh, 
Battle by Bianca, but only on the week weekends. I, I think you have to go out and then talk to her. Well, let's let's just hang on a second. Oh, Emil, would you have a Pokemon battle with me today? Yes, on weekends. Only on weekends you're going to be able to uh, fight Bianca. This is the final battle with her, or you can do it only on the weekends. But anyway, Bianca is going to lead off with a Stoutland. So uh, I start off with Olivia. Stoutland is a uh, pretty powerful Pokemon. It has Intimidate, so uh, you can use you can put a uh, special attacker up in front. Front uh, first. Oh god, it has wild charge. That is going to do a lot of damage because it's an electric type mode. And oh, Olivia survives it. I don't know how powerful Stout Stoutland is. I have seen it on Wi Fi a few times or people using it. Videos. Oh, critical hit. Nice. I've seen uh, people using Stoutland and it's a, pre it's a pretty devastating Pokemon. Ember, why is she bringing her starter? Anyway, it's the same with deal with Sharon. If you start with Snivy, she will have an Ember, or she will have the Pokemon that is weak to your starter. So, if you start with Snivy, she will have a Samurott. If you started with uh, the Pig, she will have a uh, Superior. If you started with uh, uh, how can I forget Samurott's uh, first evolution? But whatever. If you started with Samurott's first evolution, she will have an Ember. So I don't know why she why she, would she bring in the start. The Pokemon that are weak, I, that I'm strong against. I don't know. Oh no, it is a, like one HP and goes for a wild charge. Fortunately enough, the recoil is going to be able to uh, take out the uh, Emboar, thankfully. So Emboar goes down. So now she's taking out two of her Pokemon pretty quickly. Uh, let's just bring in Aegon because I can. I don't know which more po Pokemon does she have. She has a Simisage, which is the grass type monkey, so prepare to die! Yay, it makes Miss Rock Slide. Uh, that's the second time uh, Sharon and Simipore missed their Rock Slide. And Simisage also missed their Rock Slide. So Simisage does go down to one Flare Blades. She has only what, three Pokemon left. And uh, Musharna is one of her Pokemon. Let's just bring in Rosie. I could bring in Croc, but Croc is in level 65. And uh, I want I want everyone to gain some levels, not only Croc. That's so only because Croc has uh, the lucky egg. And uh, let's go for a bug bus. It's gonna be super effective on the Musharna, but it's not going to be able to take it out because Musharna has uh, pretty good special offense, as you all as you all probably know from watching me use one. I see you choose that move. Yeah, I choose bug bus, and you choose yawn. You just uh, doing that to my Rosie. You think my Rosie is boring? That you must die! And Rosie's going to grow to list 5. Awesome. And unfortunately enough, Rosie's going to go to sleep. Uh, Chandler! Okay then. Unfortunately enough, uh, Olivia is dead, so... Let's bring in, let's bring in Pedri. Chandler is not really that fast, but it has a lot of uh, special attacks, so... Watch out for that. But Chandler shouldn't be too bad if you have anything that is faster than it, since it's uh, pretty, it's pretty frail. But it's a really powerful special attacker. So yeah, Rock Slide takes out uh, Chandler in one hit. And now she's only left with I think one Pokemon left, and that is Mian Chao. And Mian Chao is really frail, but it's fast and can hit you really hard. Still, that's fine. We're just fine. Yeah, you are all just fine. Fake out. I resist it. Shouldn't do too much. No, it does like nothing. Let's go for a fly on the man Chow. And that, that is it. That was Bianca and Sharon. They are not really too hard if you're gone through the entire after game. There we go. Miyasha goes down. So that was it for Bianca. Thank you for having a battle with me. I definitely learned something. And I learned something that I already knew. You suck, Bianca. Phew, I'm totally sure, Emil. You're really a strong trainer. Love you, your style of Pokemon battling, Emil. Somehow, your Pokemon like look like they're having so much fun. Yeah, somehow they're doing that. But anyway, there's only one more thing to do now. And that is the rematches 
of the Pokemon League. So, hope I hope you enjoyed it. Feel free to leave a rating. Feel free to leave a comment. And next time on Pokemon White, we'll start the rematches of the Pokemon League. And also, I'll train up all my Pokemon to level 65 so they're all in the same level. I'll see you guys then. Hey,